everyone! Welcome to my uh, series where I review the books that I have read during 2020. This one's going to be a little change of pace because for whatever reason I had it in my head that there was a book that I had read when I was a kid that I really wanted to kind of revisit. And it did not live up to the hype in my head. And that is Amelia's Notebook by Marissa Moss. I... And I read this one when I was a kid, and I remember it being, like, the most awesome book ever. Basically, the entirety of the book is very, very small, because it's a kid's book. Um, and it features a girl named Amelia who moves away, and this is basically her journal entries of what happens in her first... I can't tell what time frame it is, but basically her... Uh, her time moving away from her best friend and her observations. It's very, very short, full of a lot of pictures, a lot of little side notes and everything. It's cute, and I do remember reading it and finding them cute, but I don't have the same feeling with it anymore. Like, I used to love this book. I used to love reading it, reading all the little side notes, and I still enjoyed reading the side notes, but I didn't have that same connection to it. Maybe it's because I'm almost 30 that I'm like looking at it now and I'm like, ugh, she's kind of a brat. But then again, she's, I think, nine? I think she's nine years old? Yeah, she's nine. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> but I gave this one a three star, mostly because again, it's out of my wheelhouse, but it was very, very short. It didn't have a whole lot of substance to it. Um, unlike with like the Dr. Seuss books where it's like, it's fun, it has some substance to it. This just felt like ramblings, which is basically what a journal is. So if you're interested in that kind of book, I highly recommend it, especially for kids, because it does have some things about like moving away and finding new friends, but it's very minimal, <laughs> very, very minimal. But again, product of its time. Like, it was written, I think, in 1996 and then re-released in 2006, I think. Don't quote me on it, because there was two versions that I got. One was a smaller one and one was a larger version. Um, but, yeah, these are basically products of their time. <laughs> so, again, another short one. I thank you all for watching. <laughs> I'll probably get back to my normal male-on-male -male romances in the next video. <laughs> so thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!